tonight on The Spatula. I love this show, but I'm getting tired. How long have we been watching for? Not that long. 20 minutes and uh, three weeks! I have missed so many shifts at the fashion boutique. I better call Shady and... Never mind. She fired me. I think I missed something, too. Uh, yep. Dentist. And I missed my flight. Yep, I was meant to go traveling with spilt milk. Okay, we have to get off this couch! <gasps> Hello? Mayor's office? Yes, I need to speak to Mayor Cookie. The mayor can't chat right now. She's, She's in an, an extremely important, important meeting. meeting. We need her help. It's about the small mart. <gasps> <gasps> Walk with me, Apple. Tell me exactly what happened. Well, we binge watched the spatula, and now we have a massive power bill. If we can't pay within the month, they're going to shut off the power to the small mart. Chuck, how much do we have in the budget? We spent the last of our quarterly funds building the new chef club, buying TVs to watch the spatula on, and this clipboard. Chip. Give me your rundown of Chuck's analysis. We have no money. Okay, we need to brainstorm. The most important thing right now is not to get sidetracked. I'm hungry. We should get food. We should make cupcakes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. let's do yes, it. Of course. Nice idea. <sighs> Dig in, guys. Fresh from the oven. <laughs> Toasty, we're trying to save money. I don't want to have to buy my breakfast today. That's it! Why don't we bake food and sell it to raise money? The Shopville Fall Festival is coming up in a few weeks. That'll be a massive opportunity. Except for one small problem. Does anyone know how to actually cook? Treating. If we never learn to cook, we'll never save the small mart. And a bit of fun never hurt anyone, Apple. Come on, where's your Halloween spirit? You're not even in costume. I don't have time for costumes, Cheeky. Now hand me that bag of flour, please. Fine. Ah! <laughs> Trick! But I never even said trick or treat. Eh, at least you've got a costume. Now you're a ghost. How did our samples go, Susie? Well, nobody really wanted to eat our treats, except for those scary bone-shaped biscuits. They loved those. Susie, those are Milk Bud's dog treats. Bah. See, Apple, that's all the more reason to go trick-or-treating. We need to research what Shopkins actually like. Can I go too? <sighs> Fine, but can you at least help me clean up this mess before you... Nope, they've already left. <gasps> okay, I'm like totally freaked out right now. <laughs> I never get scared on Halloween. Boo! I'm a tree. Oh, Susie, <laughs> 
You were saying, Cheeky? That was just a flinch. I'll go trick-or-treating anywhere in Shopville. Oh, yeah. What about that house? Uh, sure. Uh, I'm not scared. I guess nobody's home. Ah! Hi, I'm Fleur Flower, and you must be scared. Get me out of this. Why don't you chew your way out? Is that... Fairy floss? Sure is. Made it myself. Made it yourself, huh? Finally! How much candy did you bring back? No candy. But I've got something even better. Somebody to help us cook. There's something burning. I want to taste it, but that means you'll have to cut it and it won't be perfect anymore. Great job, Lippy. These cakes will sell like crazy at the fall festival. I couldn't have done it without your guidance, Fleur. No problem at all. I'm happy to be teaching you guys. Uh-oh, photos first. Then you can all try a piece. Whoa, whoa. Hey, guys. My cake is ready if you want to try it. Oh, yeah, we can wear it. Oh. Ready? Fleur, I'm not learning as fast as the others. Do you think we could do a few extra lessons? Of course we can, Toasty. Do you want to make another cake? I would, but I used up the last of the eggs. Well, you have to get creative with the ingredients you've got. Let's use buttermilk instead of eggs. Are you ready to become a chef? would count if you help down in the kitchen more often. Hey, I'm just glad that my meal is dry for a change instead of being burnt to a crisp. You want your turkey to be a little less dry? No problem. Hey! You know what? I actually have too much food on my plate. I should probably share with everyone else. I do, but I'd rather sit in the dark than be subjected to this gruel. I didn't mean literally. <laughs> Thanks, Frida. That'll be two dollars. Any chance I could get one of those, too? I'm really sorry about the other night. To be honest, I'm just jealous because you're a way better cook than I'll ever be. Thanks, Cheeky. We're getting closer to our goal, gang! The cow has already been turned off, and I cannot apply makeup without adequate lighting. Oh, no! Spilt Milk gets back from her trip today. I forgot to tell her about the power. Hey, guys. I'm back. Hello? What happened to the lights? Is this the switch? Relax, 
guys. Nothing can stop us now. Uh, except for that. Eh, it'll probably just be a light drizzle. I feel I spoke too soon. I have an idea. Follow me. Oh! You ready? No! We were so close! I can't wait to get to the fair! You have to get creative with the ingredients you've got! Susie, grab as much flavored syrup as you can find! Hey, everybody! Get your ice-cold storm slushies right here! Hey, do you have cola? Can I get a raspberry flavor? It feels good to have power again, although we need to be careful about our consumption. Totally. We should probably go to bed. I guess one more episode won't hurt. Definitely. I could watch another. I want to see what happens now. We could even finish the season. Check you later. <laughs> Just love mornings in Shopville. The sun is shining. The birds are chirping. Buncho is doing his morning fitness routine. I'm working on my car. Yep, another beautiful day in. Whoa, Jesse Cake, are you okay? <gasps> oh, hey guys, what's up? Jesse Cake. <gasps> oh, hey guys, what's up? You didn't get much sleep last night, did you? I was up all night watching highlights from last year's Tea Jubilee. Woo -hoo! Yeah, yeah, come on, let's drink some tea! Brew, brew, brew! They have competitive tea drinking? I watch it every year. Oh, but I want to see it in person so bad. Why don't you? The Tea Jubilee is always held somewhere in Europe. And that's so far. Guys? Shopkins huddle. This tea thing means so much to Jessie Cake. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I doubt it. Say what you're thinking. We have to figure out a way to get them to do the next one here in Shopville. Yeah, I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking about candy. But I like that idea. Don't you worry, Jessie Cake. You may not be able to make it to Europe, but we are going to figure out a way to bring Europe to you! If this video doesn't convince them to have that big tea party here in Shopville, nothing will! Hello, and welcome to Shopville, a wonderful place to visit and hopefully the home of this year's Tea Jubilee! We have so much to show you. Tell them, Kooky. We do. Shopville is the perfect place for the Tea Jubilee. We've got it all! A grocery store! Plenty of parking. And just look how much everybody here loves tea. I love tea. <laughs> oh. And scent. Now we just wait for them to call and tell us they're moving the big tea party to Shopville. <phone rings> Hello? Yes? Really? No way. <laughs> okay, bye. <gasps> they're going to have the tea jubilee in Shopville? No. Wrong number. Hello? <gasps> They're going to have the tea jubilee in Shopville! We did it! I can't wait to see the look on Jesse Cake's face when we tell her! You mean I'm finally going to get to see the tea jubilee in person? That's. that's. <sighs> Tell her again when she wakes up. Shopkins! 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 Okay, shoppies and shopkins. Thanks to you, 
Europe's grandest, most exciting competitive tea party is coming to Shopville. And that means we'll be hosting the world's foremost experts on all things tea. So we have to put our best foot forward and show them that Shopville knows how to tea party. Who can tell me the proper way to stir a cup of tea? Who can tell me the difference between an Earl Grey and a Darjeeling Black? Uh, uh, um, what's tea? We have work to do. Good, good, cheeky. Watch that spoon clinking on the cup when you stir. Bubblesha, elbows off the table. Donatina. Perfect pinky positioning, Peppermint. Oh, I've never been so proud. I think our work here is done. Wait, where's Buncho? <laughs> Did I do it wrong? <sighs> it's a good thing I like a challenge. Okay, just take it nice and easy. No. No. Definitely no. It's no use. I give up. Look, Buncho! He's doing it! Perfection. <laughs> ah, close enough. Everybody, I think Shopville is just about ready for inspection. Once the Tea Jubilee official gives Shopville a final approval, we'll be all set to host the big tea competition. Hmm. What? Huh? Why are you humming? Everything looks great. I just really want to make a good first impression. Just wondering if there's a way to make Shopville feel a little more, I don't know, European. Oh, I know. We could start talking with a European accent. That's not an accent that exists anywhere. Don't worry about it. Shopville looks fantastic. It was just a thought. You know what? If Jessie Cake wants European, I say we give her European. I say that's a great idea. Let's do it. Yeah, I'll stop doing that. Good morning. You must be the Tea Jubilee official here for the inspection. Indeed. We are so excited to be hosting this year's Tea Jubilee. I hope you find everything is to your liking. I say, what is that? Um, I don't know what that is. Ah, I see a very European clock tower says it's 10 o'clock. That's true. European Canal! I, I... I don't know what to say. I... Oh, what now? Oh. And now, the Shopville running off the bones! Miss Cone, I am so sorry. Never in my life have I experienced anything of this kind. This is all just a big misunderstanding. I... I love it. You what now? She what now? Every year it's the same old tea party. Sit quietly, sip tea, the notable absence of gondolas careening down the street. Uh-huh. The excitement 
shipment of shop fill is exactly what the tea jubilee needs this year. A little unexpected fun. Yeah, didn't see that coming. Congratulations, Jesse Cake. You may consider Shopville approved. Let the tea jubilee begin. Oh, here comes that bull again. Watch me run. <laughs> Jubilee is finally happening, and right here in Shopville. Oh, Cookie, look! That's Queen Cake, the world famous tea expert. She seems nice. Hey, Apple, what's that? That's the VIP section for very important people. I'm very important, right? Excuse me. I believe that tea was intended for me. Whoops. 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 Bubblesha didn't mean anything by it, Ms. Queen Cake. And who are you? Jessie Cake, ma'am. I'm the Tea Jubilee's biggest fan. Fancy yourself a tea expert, do you? I... Yeah, she does. Bubblesha, I can... You think you can tea better than me? Yeah, she does. No, I... All right, then. You like tea? Let's have... Tea. Oh. It's a tea party throwdown! You know the rules. Good manners takes all. Go, Jessie Cake! <gasps> I guess Queen Cake wins. No, you had me beat. You threw the match on purpose. Why? Because you're Queen Cake, a tea hero. I could never beat you. This compassion and sportsmanship is exactly what the Tea Jubilee is all about. Jessie Cake, you're the real winner here. Wow, I can't believe you threw that tea match on purpose. Uh, yeah. Jessie Cake? <laughs> I'll never tell. After all, you heard what she said. I won the Tea Jubilee! <laughs> <laughs>